The problem is that in the digital age, I see leaders and teams not using their human superpower communication machine. I see that the modus operandi is let's be in a headshot on Zoom and just have the head speaking, eviscerating the human form from what it's supposed to be giving. it's important to begin with a definition of what leadership communication is first. And you know, this is a really broad term. It's like saying define what horseback riding is. Well, what kind of horseback riding? Are you racing with a jockey on top? Are you jumping over fences? There are many ways to understand horseback riding. So the same is true with leadership communication. And for the purposes of how I serve my audiences, leadership communication for me is about what is said. So the words, the content, the information, the narrative of what is spoken and how that narrative or those words are delivered. So it's sort of like a two-pronged scenario where leadership communication is the what and the how. And the successful version of leadership communication is about what leaders and teams are doing within this work. So it's sort of like a three piece, a three piece element here. So you, you've got this work happening in the intersection of leadership, communication, and craft. And the craft, of course, is the artisanal skill-based level. So this is actually doing the work, creating that content with the knowledge of the craft of how to do it, the storytelling, the narration, speaking about things that the audience cares about. And then on the how side, the craft element is about, well, what do I do with my presence, my voice, my body, my movement, my connection to the audience. So successful leadership communication is about having leaders and teams who are actually upskilled in this craft, who know how to create that content with a heartbeat and who know how to deliver it so that it stays in the hearts and minds of their audiences, of teams, peers, and stakeholders. Well, you know what? Let's just pull back for a second and think about the digital age and think about communication. And if we look at the digital age, I mean, we're in it. This is like we're living in the epic epicenter of what is going on right now. It's an amazing time to be alive. And what's happening is we are we are absorbing facts and details and knowledge and information and information and even more information in the digital platforms that exist. So today in our world, I mean, it's podcasts, it's virtual speaking, it's everything in between. So the digital world is, is an active way to hold communication. But now let's just take a focus on the human element, the human communication element for a second and think about our form our old form. I mean, compared to the digital age, we're really Stone Age dinosaurs. And we're evolved in our human forms as what I call the superpower communication machines. And everything about our design is designed for human communication and, and meaningful connection with other humans. And this means that everything from the fact that we don't have a lot of hair on our bodies, at least not most of us, and, you know, so we can sense that sense of touch. The fact that we have whites in our eyes instead of dark eyes like other primates do. So that you can glance and the person or people you're talking to can follow your gaze. This is important in human communication. We've also got 43 facial muscles that can create a combination of over 10,000 different facial expressions. This is enormous repertory for our communication machines. So. The problem is that in the digital age, I see leaders and teams not using their human superpower communication machine. I see that the modus operandi is let's be in a headshot on Zoom and just have the head speaking, eviscerating the human form from what it's supposed to be giving. All the micro nuances, the gestures, even the direction of which way your feet are pointing, all this matters in human communication. 
So in order for us to be successful, uh, we need to be prioritizing training and upskilling leaders and teams and how to use their full communication instrument. Because imagine that superpower, using the digital platforms that exist and superimposing the power of our communication machine together. Now we're talking about impact. Now we're talking about results and reach of the messages that the leaders and teams make to their customers, their peers, and their teams. So that's why it's important to prioritize this work for businesses everywhere in every sector. I think it's important in this question to think about what it would look like if you didn't have leadership communication. So in a scenario where a leader or a group of uh, team members don't have the skill, don't have the craft elements of knowing how to create content and how to deliver it. When that happens, well, there they are talking to their stakeholders. And most of the time, this is gonna be what I call the talking head problem, which is um, a person who is communicating, but nobody's home behind the eyes. There's a monotone way of communicating. The body is not engaged. It might even be deleted and crossed out because the person is crossing their arms or removing the physical power of the hands, which are a huge communication superpower. So the craft elements are not in operation. And this is, this is gonna create messaging that, in my words, will leak out of the room, that will leak out underneath the cracks of the door. They will not stay in the hearts and minds of the people, the customers, or the individuals that the person who's speaking wants to reach. So this is why it's important to, to, to see now the other side of that, where a person, imagine the leader or the team members with this craft base, with this knowledge, now they're gonna be really intentional about how they're creating their content, serving the needs and interests of their listeners, using the extraordinary power of narrative and storytelling to create containers of, of knowledge that stay in the room, and most importantly, that reach the hearts and minds of the listeners. So there, you're building trust. So there, you're increasing engagement. So there, the inspirational message that you have and that you've worked so hard to develop is actually firing up and motivating your listeners to do something different, to feel something different, and to think something different. And this is why it's important to think about having these skills as an asset for every business who wants to communicate effectively using leadership communication.